A few months ago, I did a podcast talking about how my ex-wife got me. A clip of that video went viral. Here it is. Now, if you know that story, you know that I was holding our two-year-old son during an argument. My ex-wife pulled a gun on me, shot me in the forearm. The bullet went through my forearm, grazed his forehead. Then she pointed the gun at my face and squeezed the trigger, and the gun jammed. God protected me. What you don't know is that I divorced her immediately. I got custody of our son, and she did three years in prison. She went on with her life. I went on with mine. Quick update, she just got arrested for murdering her boyfriend. It's all over the news. A Georgia woman was arrested years after the body of a man was found in an Alabama shallow grave. Long story short, she found out her boyfriend was cheating, shot him in the head three times while he was asleep. All right, here's the moral of the story. If you find out somebody is cheating on you, just leave. If you're in an abusive situation, just leave. And also, always stay prayed up. All right, I'm going to give y'all this story that's currently happening right now of me staking out at my baby daddy's mom's house slash boyfriend. He's also my boyfriend. We live together. So it's currently 6.45 a.m. on this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I'm going to try to do this quick and so I don't have to have a lot of parts. Um, so anyways, me and my boyfriend's had a lot of problems. I'm telling you, bro, again, another key piece of evidence right here that these nose ring women are crazy. She's staking outside of her boyfriend's mama house right now, man. Is that not crazy? Do y'all stake out in front of the women y'all are dealing with house? And if you are doing it, you crazy. It is what it is. Either I have very intense mood swings or I'm bipolar. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's definitely one of those. Uh, you're bipolar more than likely, and that's why you have the mood swings. This one here takes the cake, guys. This one here, right here, that I'm about to show you. This one, a sad case. She needs therapy ASAP. I hate being black. I love myself, and I love what I look like, and I'm proud of being a black person. But I hate being black because I hate all the things that comes with being black. When black people talk about like all the things that we deal with race, you know, white people always think, oh, it's just racism or it's just, you know, the effects of slavery or it's just this or it's just that. Like, I don't think that you guys understand, like, it's everything. If I go to a restaurant, my server is not going to come check on me ever. Like, I don't get good customer service or I get seated in some dark corner somewhere every time I go out. If there's a group of white people behind me that came in after me, but there's only one table available, they're going to get the table. That actually just happened to me just now, which is why I'm actually making this video, because I was thinking about how much I hate the way society treats me. And being an alternative black girl, and being an alternative black girl doesn't make that any easier. I don't know how many times I have to say this, or if I even should have to say this. I know that I have an alternative appearance. I know that I have a ton of piercings. I know that I wear makeup, and I may not wear the most, um, you know, um, um, reserved outfits ever in the world. I totally, although tonight I'm pretty reserved, but that's besides the point. I totally get it. I know what I'm, what I look like. But at the same time, I just feel like what I look like should not warrant the amount of unhealthy, bad attention that I get. Like the other day, um, when I made that video, like putting up the posters, like the Bad Girls Club posters on Melrose, literally my manager, after we walked away, he's white, by the way, he told me, he said, you know, I didn't realize like, like how many dirty looks you get like people are really just so angry like just seeing you like every time they see you like i see people giving you the most dirty looks from their car and pointing at you and giving you faces and i had to tell him like all my friends tell me that i'm used to it i'm a hundred percent used to it like i'm used to it i'm used to getting looks and i'm used to getting dirty looks and i'm used to getting a whole bunch of things i've been harassed i've been you know hate crimed not hate crimed but i've definitely been called racial slurs or dealt with racism just like outside on the go at what point do you really blame people for being angry at what point do you blame people like i drive in my car i drive alone i make sure that i keep my car like slightly dirty so that my car doesn't look and i have a hyundai i don't have a glamorous car but i make sure that it's like not too clean and flashy because i don't want the police to pull me over i don't even want to get a nice car in the future because i think to myself well if i get a nice car the police are going to pull me over more i can't 
can do anything i can't do anything and don't even get me colorism is everywhere racism is everywhere it's in everywhere and everything and everyone like i'm tired i'm f***ing tired now i ain't gonna sit up here and lie to y'all man that first part about the restaurant and everything that is a 100 percent factual occurrence like i worked in restaurant my whole life bro from the time i was 16 to the time i was like 31 32 bartending waiting i was a dishwasher i even cooked i did every position in a restaurant besides a manager position i never wanted to take a pay decrease because they i don't know why service we made more money than the managers did whatever case in point though fellas do y'all hear the traumatic experiences coming out of this woman right now right now her story takes the cake because she has the most piercings and coincidentally she's the most crazy and i want to use the word crazy loosely but let's can we all agree that this woman definitely needs to go and seek therapy and counseling we can all agree on that right i don't want to i don't want to say the word crazy that could come off insensitive but man you know sometimes you just got to call a spade a spade i once dated a woman right and she was having a heart to heart with me right she's a very heavily melanated black woman chocolate this girl told me when she was a kid she was sitting on santa claus lap santa claus asked her what would you like for christmas little girl she said, can you make me white? She has a nose ring now. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, I look, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I put that on all three of my kids. I'm not bullshitting, bro. I truly believe nose rings in a woman is a clear cut indicator that she has an extreme amount of emotional baggage, traumatic experiences under her belt, the whole nine yards, man. And if a man call himself wanting to love her, he's going to have an uphill battle. They say love transcends all, but man, listen, if you want to be going down that route, that's on you, but don't say I didn't try to put you up on game. Yes, I'm toxic, but did I cheat on you? Okay, I did, but did you die? Shit, he might not die right now, but man, who knows what you could have given this man that might take his life later down the line. They got the diseases that take a little time for it. You. you get what I'm saying? <sighs> Nose rings facial piercings all clear-cut signs of trauma bro he just ate my ass he want to switch now i'm eating his ass eating his ass eating a nigga ass what kind of messed up degenerate ass relationship does she have with her mother to the point where she's talking about sexual experiences in great detail talking about eating the devil's mailbox the fight box, if you will, on another grown man. Guys, the nose ring, man. I'm telling y'all, man. This video should be all the evidence that you need to stay away from the women. <laughs>
You sell ass on OnlyFans? What? Be cool. And don't ever ask me crackhead shit like that, because I'm not a crackhead. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. A lot of the dudes that they be talking about are very, very bold and just frank, for real. Because a lot of times, I'll be thinking something, but I'll never even say it. But let's be real. He see all those nose rings. It's probably something about you that's giving OnlyFans you selling ads. Let's be real, man. People judge books by the cover. I always hated that saying when they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, shit, if I see a motherfucker with a Confederate flag and the nigga got a whole robe that look white with holes in it and stuff, man, I got to assume he, he a part of the clan. I mean, come on, bro. We judge books by the cover all the time. If a dude is six foot six, with massive hands, look athletic, man. It's a safe assumption that he probably played sports, man. People recruit tall people just to play. That's what we do as humans. It sucks sometimes, but it's a sad, sad truth. It is what it is, man. I see a little dude hanging out, blunt in his mouth, big old gun on his waistline. I gotta assume he might use it. All right, fellas. Listen, man, we only a few hundred away from hitting that 100K, man. I think I need about seven, 800. That's more than a few. But y'all get with the point, bro. And ladies, I appreciate y'all that watch too. I want to thank everybody sincerely, man. It's been a wild ride, bro. Just in October, I only had 50,000 subscribers, man. We didn't double that in less than what? Four months? Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot add. We didn't double that in like six months, man. That's crazy. I really, really want to show my gratitude to y'all, bro. I thank y'all so much, bro. For real, for real. But go ahead on hit that subscribe button. I appreciate appreciate everybody that watches the content, man. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one.